for most of my business, so Guardian Due Diligence is a sort of buy side M&A advisory firm specifically for acquisition entrepreneurs, which I define as people who are spending their own money on diligence, spending their own money to buy businesses and don't have like rich uncles or sort of funded um, searches or private equity funds to pay their diligence. So they're being very prudent with how they spend. It comes out of, it comes out of, I was in your shoes for six years as an independent sponsor. And I just hated the fact that when you look for particularly financial due diligence support, you went around to all these fancy accounting firms and asked for pricing on quality of earnings. And they talk about like their rate sheet and how much their guys cost per hour and then tell you, oh, well, it's, you know, 18 to $45,000. And I'm like, did I just ask an accountant for a number? And they gave me a range where the lower number times two is still lower than the highest number. This is just asinine. And it really sets up perverse incentives. So for instance, what incentive does the accountant have to tell you the deal's bad early if he's trying to push the fee up from 18 to 45,000 bucks? So I started Guardian Due Diligence to be a acquisition entrepreneur focused buy side M&A firm that focuses primarily on financial due diligence, which we think means cash proofs, quality of earnings and um, lighter reviews of companies. And we do them fixed fees. So we've been doing this long enough. We sort of know what it takes to get it done. We also focus more on the deal than like trailing 12 month EBITDA. So you guys know trailing 12 month EBITDA and what they sort of always put in the quality of earnings. But what you really wanna know is how likely is that deal to produce that EBITDA in the next 12 months? And really, I think the answer to that question comes from an understanding of is this business worth what you're paying for it. And for our analysis, we work really hard with our clients to help understand how trailing 12 month EBITDA is likely to translate into next 12 months EBITDA and how, how, how well positioned are you to be buying a business that's strong. We also wrap all of our financial due diligence services with sort of deal advisory stuff. So for the people that I've been working with on this call, I'm helping with negotiations, we're talking through LOIs, we're talking through SIMS, helping you get the deal executed, which is more than an accountant can do because they haven't consummated any deals. So that's what we do. And I'm very proud to be doing it. And I think it's both a business for sure, but also I really get a kick out of helping people kind of get past this information asymmetry so they can get good deals done.